That was a very slow rise. We it was, I didn't mean it to be. <laughs> I thought my lens was Almost dirty. A, you know this space, I don't even see music. <laughs> should how we should start every video. Okay, day so two. Day two. Uh, normally, day in the bay is just one day, but because the big old car, we spent a lot of time, you as well, on the yep. paintwork yesterday, doing machining. Um, we're now just gonna go around and do the bits and bobs to finish it off. Um, glass, interior. The important bits of a show car that people might forget. Exactly. So you can see someone, someone's already uh, had a go on the glass. On the air. So we'll, we'll kind of talk about what you can do to make doing the glass a bit easier for yourself. Because it's one thing that I used to trip me up massively. Um, I, I was okay with paintwork, and then when it came to glass, I was a complete mess until I kind of learned a few hints and tricks, um, which really did help. So one of them being, let me go and get a second cloth. Try not to waddle. The reason I got two cloths, because what I like to do is have one for my cleaner and one as my kind of buffer. That way, if you're just using the one cloth of your glass, you're kind of like pushing those greases and dirts all around the glass and you're just gonna create more smears and you're just gonna get frustrated and it won't look great. So, using two cloths, and again, fold them, so one, fold once, fold get once, nine, get nine, nine, nine cloths. You take the mick, but it's a good old hint. You're forgetting one important thing. The actual glass cleaner. So this is our perfect clarity glass cleaner. Now, the, the, one of my favourite things about this glass cleaner is, is um, the way it smells. It smells incredible, but also how little you need to use. So all we need to do is a light mist, and again, with my first cloth, I'm just going to wipe in nice clean straight lines. Then with my second cloth, I'm just going to buff the opposite way. And that's just going to make life easier for you. Every time you get onto a new piece of glass, just unfold it so you've got a fresh microfiber for that glass. I mean, you're just going to get the best cleaning power. That's it. You don't need to overload the surface with glass cleaner. So, wipe one way with the first towel, opposite way with the second. That's we'll it. talk about kind of the inside of the glass when we get to the inside, but we if it looks it. smeary, it's probably because it's on the inside. Exactly that. Um, like I say, we'll, we'll talk about um, a little method that we use for doing the interior glass. Like I say, some people can get a bit frustrated because you see constant streaks on the glass. Now we'll show you something to identify whether or not that's on the inside or the outside when we get to it. So when it comes to doing the inside of the glass, what I like to do is get some brand new towels and I spray directly to the towel, a very light mist. And then again, I just do my up and down and left and right. Now, if you find that no matter what you do, you're getting like white marks, but you don't know what side they're on. What you can do is on the outside of the glass, just do left and right. And then on the inside of the glass, do up and down. That way you'll know what side those streaks are on if you're left with any. If, you, if you're really struggling to get rid of those marks, that's the kind of tactic I'd take. So, the reason I spray whenever I'm doing interior surfaces, whether or not it's dashes, stereo bits, glass, the reason I spray directly to the towel is so I don't get overspray everywhere. Um, you don't want to spend, waste too much time just chasing product that's all over the interior. Just spray it directly to the towel, it's going to manage it a lot easier and reduce that workload for you. So you can see we've got a fair bit of grease on the inside of this glass, so we're just going to kind of work it a little bit harder just to break that down. It may take a few attempts, that's fine. Just keep flipping the towel when it comes to doing it again so you're not pushing that grease around. But as you can see, the gas cleaners make a nice light work of that. 
Job job. Job job. Job job. What's job job? Job job. What is job done? What a job is job and it's done. Happy with the outside, the outside's done. Um, we're now gonna finish off the inside. Um, before we give it a hoover and vacuum and then and kind of a bit of leather treatment, we wanna do the dash. Now, I like to use the Ultimate Interior Detailer. So it'll clean uh, the interior surfaces and protect, and the most important thing, it won't leave a glossy finish. Now, whenever we're into interiors, the last thing you wanna do is load product on the dash and give it a high gloss finish, because it doesn't really suit it and it's not great to look at. And it makes it quite greasy and slick. So, again, Light mist the product on directly to a clean microfiber towel. Gently wipe the surface. And that's it. If you do get a bit of a sheen on there, just get a second towel or flip the towel over. Just give it a light buff. And then you'll get a nice even finish. And that's and that's great for like Audi and plastics, um, around the gear stick areas, around the clocks, dials, stereo. It's all gonna be perfectly safe to use. Just use a good quality microfiber towel, like our Supreme Shine microfiber towel. Light Mr. Product, no pressure, especially around screens. And then away you go, it's nice and easy. Bit. That's what they look for in Concord, Editing. They like to have all the vents and everything all lined up. If you're ever doing Concord uh, competing, if you're ever competing in Concord, they always like the vents to be nice and level. Make sure all the seconds are on the same thing. Yeah, that's... Yeah, bored. Yeah. yeah, okay. So, looking at the leather, it kind of looks looks a bit dry. It looks like it needs a bit of putting back into it. So before applying our ultimate leather balm to give it some kind of rich nourishment and some protection, I want to degrease the, the leather using our multi-purpose cleaner. Now this is just going to remove any kind of excess oils or greases that are sitting on the leather that's going to stop that leather balm feeding in and giving it a real nice finish. So again, because we're working on the interior, I'm going to splay the cloth directly, then just work, work it into the surface. Like I said, it's just removing any kind of unwanted contaminants in the leather, and it's just going to prep the surface ready for when I want to dress it. So now we've prepped the leather, we've, we've given it a deeper clean using the uh, multi-purpose cleaner. Now I want to start dressing the leather and feeding some nourishment back into it and giving it a nice soft supple finish and, and also making it look a bit more presentable. So I'm going to use our ultimate leather balm. Essentially if you, if you think um, paste wax for your paintwork is the final step, this is like a paste wax for your leather, it's that final bit of protection but it's also going to make it look fantastic as well. Like any of our products, less really is more so I'm just going to pinch the top of the pad Turn it half a turn and then just work a small area at a time. Now the key with this stuff is the more you feed it in, the better the results. If you've finished the leather and you think it's a bit too shiny for you, a little tip, get a clean microfiber towel, spray it with a light mist of water, then just give it a final wipe down. It's not going to compromise your protection or finish, it's just going to take that kind of sheen off if you don't want it. So this is a cleaning and protection product, but for, for leather that needs a bit more of attention, I'd give it a stage one clean using our leather cleaner or our multi-purpose cleaner. So we're, we're very happy with how the car's going so far. Um, we've done the paintwork, done the glass. Um, we're just on the last finishing touches, uh, one of which is the, the kind of bright work, the, the chrome bits. 
So we're busting out the NXT all metal polish just to give it a nice bit of brightness because when it's in that indoor show, we want this to be as bright and as gleaming as possible. So part of that is doing the, the chrome work. So the reason I'm using this is because, A, I want to get it nice and bright and shiny, and B, it's going to give it some protection as well. So over the show season, this car is going to be going to a lot of shows, going to be outside, inside, and all sorts of different environments. So we want to give it that bit of protection. So even coat pad, our microfiber applicator pad, onto the NXT metal polish, quick twist. And when it comes to doing metal surfaces and trim bits like this, don't try and do the whole thing. Give yourself little areas to work. Just kind of work the product in. If you want a mask around it, that's fine. But at this point, I'm pretty confident that I'm not gonna get out of the pen work. So you can see it's, it's dragging out the dirt and grime. For, let me just give it a wipe with the other side. And there we go. Nice and easy. Done. So, car's ready to go, ready for ultimate dub. So I believe J-Max on his way to come and collect it. Um, like I say, there was just the last few touches. Um, Bodywork was yesterday. So we've addressed the interior, and then the chrome bits today, then the glass. And I've just given it a final detail using the ultimate detailer just to give it a final bit of gloss enhancement. And it's uh, ready to go, it's been a good one. It's been a been a long one. Um, like I say, we've, as, you, as you've seen in the video, we've encountered a few things on the paintwork that we've, we've addressed or avoided um, or corrected. And um, yeah, it's been a nice little challenge for us. It's good to get an old drag in the bay. If you want to see more content, if you want to see day in the bay videos, if you want to see Tom versus Dale videos, if you want to see detail and one-on-one videos, um, check out the channel. There's lots of content in it and we're updating it every week with brand new videos.